Hi, it's Stacey Myers here from StaceyMyers.com. In this video, we're going to have a look at the different types of widgets you can put on your website, Twitter widgets that you can put on your website. So how you want to go about this is if you go into your Twitter account and up here you click on your profile, click on settings, and then over here just click on widgets. You're going to have various options of widgets here and we're just going to create a new widget. Now, all these top four are going to take you to the same page and this search one is going to take you to a different one. So we'll go through each of them and have a look how to create them and what they're going to look like. So here, it's like, what would you like to embed? So you have an embedded grid, an embedded tweet, embedded timeline, Twitter buttons, whatever it is that you want to embed into your into your website. So I have a WordPress website. This is really around how to do that for a WordPress website. So we're going to have a look at the different types of things you can embed. So the first one here is a collection, and I'm actually going to come back to this one. Then you can embed a, a tweet. And so if I want to click find a particular tweet that I want to embed, then I can simply do that. Now, how you're going, if you have a tweet on, on Twitter that you want to embed on your website, I can show you um, what that's going to look like. So here we have, I put some embedded tweets in this post. So this is an embedded tweet here. So basically what I've done is I created this image using Canva. I've uploaded it to, to Twitter. It's just a tweet on Twitter. And then I've embedded it into my blog post. So in here, people, people can actually interact with this. So you can follow me in here. You can retweet in here. You can like it. You can um, reply to me all inside of your blog post. This is another embedded tweet here. This is another one here. And so how you find your tweet. So just say you want to, you can either embed your own tweet or other people's tweets, it's fine. And so just say, for example, we want this one. So I click it to open it out. And see now up here, this is actually the direct URL to this tweet. So what I do is I will copy this. I can go back here and let me just go back. And then in here, I'm just going to enter the direct tweet and you'll see now it's pulled it in here. And then this bit here is the code that you're going to use to put onto into your website. So inside your WordPress website, you can put this code and I'll go over how to do that in a bit. I just want to show you the different types of things that you can embed into your website firstly. So this is if you want to do um, a tweet. Now we may, the thing I did notice um, with this you just delete out the tweet and then you get the options again so you can put in a profile so I'm I love the San Diego Zoo I've never been there I really want to go there and I follow them on I follow them on Instagram and their Instagram account is amazing I actually was slightly disappointed when I came to Twitter um, it's still beautiful and all, but the what they put up on Instagram, I love, love, love. So just say I want to have a profile. So I can put a profile in here. Now, mostly you're going to be doing this for your own account. And so for my profile, so on here now, this is showing me all the tweets that are going out from the San Diego Zoo. Now, this is the and what's called an embedded timeline or you can just have a twitter button so i might want someone to follow me so this is this is like follow the san diego zoo so of course you're going to 
if you want to do this one you're going to have people follow you and you can put it in your sidebar of your website it will look something like this so then people can follow just click on here and follow me straight from my website so that's another thing that you can do right and then we've got a list so you have lists um, and if you're not sure how to create Twitter lists, I have a video that you can look at about this. And basically, a Twitter list, I'll take you to one to have a look at. So these are lists that I've put together. So these are lists that I've created. And then these are some other people's lists down the bottom. So you see the ones that have my image. They're going to be ones that are ones I've created. And then if you scroll down below that, you're going to see the other people's images. Now, these are lists that other people have created. Sorry, I accidentally clicked on that. Now, just say I want to... Um, do a list of all the people that have some of the people that have read my daily doable book so I click on this it's going to bring me up again this distinct URL so you can see I have 170 members in this and 86 people subscribe to this list so I simply copy and paste so I copy that and then I paste it in here so we'll delete the one that I've done now, this is a list of all of the people that are on the list, the tweets that they've sent out. So then I can also embed this in my website. So this is, again, I just copy the embed code here. So there are quite a few different options you can do with embedding Twitter into your website to get more visibility. And then this is the likes. So how this, remember we used to have favourites, now we've got likes on Twitter. So these are all, if we go back here, and go to my profile. Now these are my likes. So I could click on this. And then... I can show people all of the likes that I have. I may need to put my username in there. So and so this shows all of the so these are tweets that I've liked. And so I can have that as an embed as well. We get rid of that we can have a twitter handle so i could put my username here and again this is comes back to the embedded timeline that we looked at before and also creating the twitter button for me to put onto my website now this mention button so if i have this one basically if i click it then people can tweet straight to me and have a chat Whereas the other one was for them to follow me. This one is it gives them an opportunity just to have a chat with me. And then you can just do a hashtag. So we use the example here. So this is going to tweet directly out using that particular hashtag. So you set the hashtag up and then people can just come type in what they want, use the hashtag and send that out actually i just had a thought then this would be really great if you're doing a um a contest so if you did a blog post explaining a contest that you wanted to do then you could have the link there that and if one of your things is that people have to tweet out using a particular hashtag then they could tweet that out um simply straight from your blog as part of your contest so this is, so that's that one. Now, I want to talk to you about a collection. Now, you need to create the collections. You want to have TweetDeck. 
And so TweetDeck is owned by Twitter. And so all you want to do is come to Google and just do um, a quick search for TweetDeck. And then this will open up and then you can have various streams. Those of you that use Hootsuite, this is a similar thing. So I was having a play around with this yesterday, again with my San Diego Zoo. And basically you can have a collection and it will have its own URL. And then you can embed this into your website, which is completely amazing. So you can have a look at the pictures you want. Now to, and TweetDeck for, is free. Um, you can do all of this and you don't need to pay for an account or anything. But if you find the account that you want to create a collection about. So if I wanted to create a collection from my, from my account, I can just click on here can't find the thing I'm trying to find now oh here add column sorry I was like where am I looking so I clicked on add column and then I can choose a home notifications this is a great little tool just for you for doing your account and being able to follow and interact with people anyway tweet is great but what we're going to do is we're going to go to a particular user so if I wanted to create a collection from mine um, then I can just click add column and you can see now that it's opened up another column here and then what I can do is create another column and you'll see that one of the options is a collection so you just click and then you can click create collection and here it is here and then you can simply drag in the tweets you want so let's stick with our San Diego Zoo but we'll create a new collection so I want this image in my collection and you'll see here there's a little thing that I can drag this around. So I'm going to drag this over into my collection and what you'll also notice is that you can do video as well which is really great. So I might want to drag this one and what's good about this is that we don't need to pull in the tweets that we don't want. So we can just find the ones that we really like. Now. So you can add in, let's, so I've got four here now. See if there's another one I really love. Well, this is kind of cute. Let's take that one as well. Okay, so now I, this is my collection. So I've pulled everything into the collection here. And then if I click on these two little lines here, it gives me all of this. So I can decide if I want um, my previews to be small, medium or large. I'm just going to leave it at medium. And then I can share it. So I can embed it. This, If I click on that, it's going to give me the embed code. Pull me back over here. I can view it on Twitter. So this is would be what it would look like on Twitter. So this is a this is a collection. But what's really great is when you so you can tweet about it on the timeline. So I can tweet out about it. Now if we go back to this one, so basically how I got here was I clicked on share and then view on Twitter. So now I'm viewing it on Twitter. Now this again is it, it is its distinct URL. So if I want to copy that and pop it into here, you'll see something great happens. And then we want an embedded grid for this. And look at that. So you can create these in blog posts, on your website, if you have a particular thing that you want to share about. And the videos, they play as well. So if you have this embedded inside a blog post somewhere, then you can, the videos will play. I think this is, these collections I just think are amazing. And if you've got, if you have a visual account, then this is perfect. 
And you could even have a collection and you could just keep trading the images in and out. And then so we could go back to Tweet Deck and we could maybe add what else have we got here? And then every time you add new ones, it's create it changes it up. So if we pull these two in and then go back here and go, if we refresh this, we may need to put the link in again, the embedded grid. So you can see now it's changed it up. So this is really great. So let's go back and just have a quick look at the options for the widgets that you can add to your website. So you can have a collection here, which is the one that we've just done that looks great. You can embed a particular tweet into, say, a blog. You can do a profile. You can add a list. You can just have all the likes you have come out. You can just use your Twitter handle or you can use a hashtag. Now, if I go back to my website here, and I'm going to and show you how I to embed them into your website. So this is my blog post here. And you can see here's the embedded tweet. Now generally, so I'm going to edit the post. And you'll see this is where we type in generally. So we come in here and we type all the things that we want and we edit it and we change it and do whatever we need to do. Then what we can do is this is the HTML. Now depending, I have a plugin that gives me this kind of um, editor here. Now sometimes you'll have this HTML up here and that will bring you to the HTML code or you may have where it says source and that's exactly the same as if you click on HTML. Now what you need to do is if I come here and I need the embed code. So let's grab the collection again. I'm going to pop that in here and then you'll see I have the code here. So this is the code for the collection. Now, these are the ones I popped in earlier. So if we scroll down, you'll see this is actually just my writing. So I want, let me just open this again on a different page. So I know where I want to put the embedded tweet in. So I know that it's going to go after where it says how to learn pick monkey. So if I come back in here, I scroll down and you can read in here. It just has all the other stuff as well. So I just scroll down and find where what I was saying ends. Right here, how to use pick monkey. And then I've said, here's one I created in Canva. And you'll see here, this bit here is the bit that I have copied in and embedded from what I took from here. Now, you have to go into the HTML part. If you just copy it into the visual bit here, you're not. it's not going to work. All you're going to see is the embed code put into... Um, it will come up like you've just typed it. Now, what I want you to notice is in here, it's not showing me the actual tweet. So it's it, all it is is like this is the tweet that I've done, who did it, the date and everything. But when you come out and preview it on your website, it actually shows you the tweet. So if you don't see it in here, don't freak out because you'll be able to see it out there. Now, we grab the code. Let's grab the code from here. So I've copied this code now. If I need to go into the HTML section of my blog post, then let me just go right down the bottom here 
and I'm going to paste it in. And you'll see it just is like one line of script. Then if I update that, So I've saved that. Let me go back to my website now. I'm going to refresh that blog post. And remember, we put it right down the bottom. So if I come down here, this is now embedded into my blog post. So this is what we did. So it's so fantastic. And if I go back here to tweet deck, tweet deck, I mean, and make changes to it, then those changes are going to show up here. I'm not going to have to come back in and re-embed the code every single time. Every time I make changes, they will appear here. So I'm going to come back here and go down the bottom again and then delete that out because, of course, we don't want it there. But it really is as simple as that. Just update that post again. So I invite you to have a bit of a play around and see what you can create in here. And then you can embed them into your website. So we went through the different types and then also how to embed them. Send me your links. Like if you do a blog post and put a link in, tweet me at Stacey L. Myers and send me the link and say that you did an embedded tweet in there um, and I will come and have a look at it and see if you've done a collection. And for the collections, you want TweetDeck. So just um, do a search for TweetDeck. So let me know if you have any questions. I'd love for you to follow me on YouTube and, yeah, go and embed some tweets.